Good morning, and welcome to the uh, Ardex R&D facility in uh, Alicopa, Pennsylvania. My name is Craig Morris. I am the Business Development Manager for the Ardex Finished Surfaces. And today we are here to discuss the Ardex offerings in the Finished Surfaces line. Uh, I have 36 years within the industry, both as an installer and a technical manager here at Ardex. Uh, I'm very familiar with the challenges that uh, are presented to the installation community and design community when it comes to specifying an Ardex topping or any type of topping uh, to resurface a concrete floor. So Craig, why should someone consider finished surfaces? So finished surfaces typically are designated by a designer or an architect or a building owner because they like the polished concrete look. However, the, the concrete in their facility is showing signs of distress, whether through uh, cutouts for utilities or uh, just the age of the material, uh, sometimes they'll have an issue with elevation or level that um, prevent the concrete from being polished properly. In, in that situation, a topping is optimally uh, is, is designated to give you a nice uh, concrete appearance um, and also you know, reflect the, the natural beauty of, of a concrete surface. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the Ardex options that are available for finished surfaces? Sure. Um, actually, we can come over this way. You'll see that uh, we have some material poured out here in our sample area. Um, this is actually the sample area of the R&D portion of the, of the facility. Uh, this is how we actually manufacture our samples. That's why you'll see some hairline cracking going on throughout here. Uh, the K-Series was recently introduced to... Um, uh, to the design community and what we have right here in this first bay is the Ardex K520. The Ardex K520 is a product that can be poured and sealed. In other words, we just pour the material down, uh, let it cure 24 hours and then apply a film forming sealer over the top. Uh, it can also be cut and then actually in this situation here we did cut the material, uh, process it like we would process traditional concrete through a, a planetary grinder. Uh, when we process the K520, you'll see that you actually get a, a nice reveal of a very fine aggregate, a very fine sand. Um, it gives it a very unique look to it. Uh, it's much more understated than traditional concrete where you have a higher aggregate reveal or a larger aggregate reveal. Uh, you'll see that it has some distinction uh, with some smoother marks and some you know, modeling, which is actually uh, considered, you know, it, it should be considered as, as one of the virtues of the, of the product or any of the toppings products. Uh, so the 520, like I said, can be poured and sealed or can be cut to reveal this nice fine aggregate. So it's both a pour and polish and a pour and seal. That is correct, yes. So tell me where would I install this? Where is it applicable to install this type of flooring? Well, the K520, like all of our toppings products, can be installed anywhere where traditional floor covering can be installed as long as the substrate's concrete. So you can, you'll see this product being specified in retail environments, hospitality, industrial, commercial, um, hospital environments or medical facilities. Uh, just like I said, just about anywhere a traditional floor covering isn't being installed over concrete. Uh, it can be integrally dyed or topically stained and if you're trying to achieve a certain look. Uh, a lot of times these products will go into areas where there's an existing concrete that they're trying to match. Uh, so we can actually do that as well. Okay, let's move on to the next product in the K-Series, K521. Sure, the K521, uh, similar to the K520 in, in terms of its, its, its skeleton, but you'll see that it has actually a bigger aggregate in it, so you have a higher reveal of the aggregate. Uh, not only is there a higher reveal, you have larger aggregate, uh, so again, it gives it a very unique look to it. Uh, it is still basically a wide aggregate reveal. Um, it, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's different from the 520 primarily in, in that situation only. Can you tell us a little bit more about the process of polishing it once you poured it? Sure. Uh, I, Ardex has actually identified five steps towards a proper polishing of our toppings. And what we call it is the five P's. And that starts out with proper prep, uh, priming the surface, pouring the topping material, processing it using standard grinding equipment, and then po uh, protecting the material. Okay. Let's move on to the final product in the K-Series, Ardex k so the last one we have in the K-Series is the K523, and this is a very unique product, and actually one that I think reflects uh, true higher polish, uh, higher aggregate polish concrete. You'll see it has a black and white aggregate, uh, it has a nice distribution of material. Uh, it is not terrazzo in the sense that it's not completely uniform, in that sense it gives you a, like I said, a traditional polish concrete, a more natural look. So you'll have higher areas, or higher pockets of aggregate reveal than others. Uh, but it truly reflects polished concrete better than, um, better than some of the other products. What's the final product? 
So the final product we have here is, uh, is actually one of our flagship products. Uh, anybody who's familiar with Ardex, has worked with Ardex in the past, knows of our Ardex PCT line. The Ardex PCT line has been uh, an industry standard for over 10 years. Uh, the P PCT comes in four, uh, several different colors. We have the PCT uh, white, gray, uh, and light gray. And this is, this is the light gray we have here. Um, you'll see that it's unique in its appearance. Uh, it has almost like a medium aggregate. It's almost like a cross between the 520 and 521. Uh, we like to point out, though, that you know, as with all these types of products, uh, what makes them so unique is it, in which sense what makes them so special is it's actually a very unique floor. Uh, not only from the aggregate reveal and the type of aggregate, but some of the modeling you get, or the tiger striping, what we call sometimes. We have areas where you have some darker areas where the smoother is pulled through the material. Uh, that's not a flaw of, of the product. That's actually designed to be there so that you have a floor that has a unique character and, and makes it separate from just about any other floor uh, you'll, you'll come across. No, no two installations of these products are the same. So what are some of the green benefits of considering a finished surface? Like traditional concrete, uh, these products uh, have a, a very green benefit. Uh, I know that's a big within the industry today as far as light reflectivity, the thermal mass, uh, and, and, and probably the biggest benefit is the durability. Uh, a properly maintained polished concrete floor or a properly maintained polished topping is, is a lifetime proposition. Um, it, it, it has the natural beauty that, that exists and, and stands through the ages. Uh, and again, as long as it's properly maintained, that floor will be in place for the duration or for as long as that building is standing. Do you have any closing thoughts, Craig, for someone who wants to add this to their business offerings? Absolutely. Uh, the one big thing that we always encourage people to do is to do a mock-up on site. Uh, the mock-up on site it provides a couple benefits. The primary benefit is that given that this is such a unique product, a unique installation, uh, to, to try and imagine what the area is going to look like by judging it from a three-inch sample doesn't really do it justice. So typically a 10 by 10 mock-up on site is something we recommend. Uh, the ambient conditions of the, uh, of the installation space figure very largely in how these products are, 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 are appear. So it's everything from the lighting, um, primarily the lighting to uh, you know, just the space in general, it's important to understand how they're going to look in this, as a finished product in the space. So we encourage mock-ups. But more importantly than that, we encourage you to use your Arctic sales professional, the Arctic technical department, and as well, myself. Uh, we are industry experts. We all have, uh, have dozens of years of combined experience within the Arctic technical department and the sales force is being put at your disposal. And it's just simply a phone call away. A phone call or an email, whether it's a job site visit or a meeting, you know, a, a job site meeting, Arctic personnel are there for you.